and we're back with the Math Party, my Math Party people. Anderson here, your math coach, and in this video, we're following up in terms of the series on percents. So remember, if you haven't watched the video on percent discounts yet, it's a very wise decision for you to do that. For the simple reason being, this follows the same idea. Remember that when it comes to percentages, we always consider 100% the starting amount. Why is that important? Well, long story short, if you have a discount of 10%, that means that, hey, you're not paying 100% anymore. You're paying 90% now because you take away the 10% discount. Here, we're looking at taxes. And in this specific problem, you see that we have this price, this, you know, this item, and we have a 2% tax. So that means that you're not paying 100% anymore. You're not paying the original amount. With a tax, you're paying more, right? If you get taxed on something, you obviously, at the store, if you bought anything before in your life, you know that you're paying more than that price. So what we're gonna do is apply the 2% to 100%. So we're gonna add 2% on top of 100%. 100% is what you would have been paying originally, and the 2% is the amount of the tax. So you are now paying 102%, okay? You're now paying, let me make that, make that a little more legible there, 102% because it's 100%, which is the original, plus the 2%, which is the tax, and you add that all up to get 102% as the final percentage that you pay. So let's go ahead and work on calculating this. There's two main ways we can do this, everybody. Two main ways. One, you can just calculate the 2% by itself, but then add it back to the original price, or you can just find 102% of the $280 and you'll be done right away. So allow me to show you both methods. Let's see if it works out for both of us. Let's go. So method number one. And again, I want you to, I, want, I really, really, really need you to follow both methods. Watch them both entirely because you're gonna be able to pick which way is more convenient depending on what numbers you're dealing with. So here we go. Method number one, I'm gonna go ahead and find 2%. So I'm gonna find the tax and then I'm gonna add it back. When it comes to taxes, this might be an easier way because you're dealing with less digits. Here's what I mean. If I find 2% of 280, so 2% of 280, that's gonna be 280 times 0 0.02. Again, don't forget to convert your percentages into decimals. Very important step that I don't think I need to remind you about at this point if you've watched those previous videos. But if we go ahead and take care of this, my party people, look at this. We have ourselves zero times two, which is gonna be zero. Eight times two, which is 16. Then from there, we've got ourselves two times two is four. Carry the one is five. So we have 560, but not quite, because we have one, two decimals, so right there. So the tax that we're paying is $5.60. And so what we'll do is we'll take the 280 and we'll add the $5.60 and that's gonna give us $285.60. And that is the final, right there. That's the final cost after tax. This right here was the tax, but once you add it back, there is your final price. So again, stay with me here, stay with me, we're not done. Again, the answer here is gonna be D right above me because that's what you get at the end. But let me show you the second way so that instead of going ahead, finding a multiplication, and then going ahead and adding, you know, finding a product and finding a sum, we can actually do this all in one step. Let me show you. So method number two. Method number two is find the final percent and then multiply. So remember earlier how we literally, we literally just got done saying, my party people, hey, if we add 2%, which is a tax, right? We're adding 2%, that's gonna be 102%. So what we already found, we already did this. We need to find 102% of the $280. That's what we're doing here. Finding 102% of 280. So to get this done, let me just zoom in over here to show you how we're gonna get the same exact answer here. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. 
And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. We can write 280 multiplied by 102%, which when you convert to a decimal, it's 1.02. So notice how we're gonna be able to do this in one step, but we have a big multiplication here, so it might take a little longer depending on how confident you are with your multiplication. But it's so important that I show you both ways because again, it depends on the convenience of the numbers. So here we go. We have zero times two, which is zero. Eight times two is 16. Two times two is four, carry the one is five. Then we'll go to the next step here for the tens place. So here we have our zero starting off. Here we go. Everything being multiplied by zero is literally just gonna be zero, so that's fine. Cause zero times zero, eight times zero, two times zero, no worries. And then lastly over here, we'll do the one. And so notice how this isn't terrible, right? This isn't terrible, still manageable, but we have the one here. So we'll put two zeros now for the next row. And we see that we have zero times one is zero, eight times one is eight, two times one is two. Add it all together. We have zero, six, five, eight, two. And we see that we have how many decimal places? One, two, one, two. We have $285 and 60 cents, which is the same exact answer as we got right there. But again, notice, look at how much cleaner this looks versus all of this over here, right? We have less to do over here than we do over here, but both methods work the exact same. That's the great thing about percent taxes here um, and discounts. As long as you start from 100%, you can get the answer right away in one step. Or you can find that percentage, whatever the discount or tax was, and then apply it back to the original amount. Two methods, both work absolutely fine. I'm gonna do one more problem here, and I'm gonna send you off on your way because I want you to go ahead and try these out with the worksheets coming up next and those speed drills. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take care of this one. $12.99, tax 6%. So right over here, we can go ahead and do it either, one way, either way. We can find out what 6% of this is and then add it back because it's a tax. So let's go ahead and figure that out here. $12.99, multiplied by 0 0.06. Let's find out what that tax is. Nine times six, that's gonna be 54. Nine times six is 54, carry the five is 59. Two times six is 12, carry the five is 17. One times six is six, carry the one is seven. So then right over here, we have ourselves two decimal places, two decimal places, so that's four total. So we have ourselves one, two, three, four, boom. So we have about 78 cents in tax. Because again, remember, we're dealing with here money. Two decimal places is all you need. Anything after that, go ahead and round it. So there is our tax. Boom. And so what I'll do is I'll take the, the, the 1299 over here. And we're going to add on the 78 cents. We're going to add on that tax. Because notice how we have the original amount. And we have ourselves our tax amount right here. And here we'll get our final price. Nine plus eight, that's gonna be 17. Nine plus eight, or nine plus seven, that's gonna be 16, carry the one is 17. Two plus one is three, one plus nothing is 13. So we have 1377 as that final price. So again, that's one way to do it. Find the amount of the tax and then add it back. You're adding because it's a tax, you're paying more. The other way that we're gonna be doing and I'm gonna show you it again here. The other way is to do this in literally one step. You have a tax of 6%, so that means 100% plus 6% equals 106%. That's the final price. That's the final price. And before we continue my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I wanna make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB. I'm Anderson, let's keep going here.
So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll take my 1299 and I'm gonna go ahead and multiply by 1.06. And if you're quick with your multiplication, you should be able to do this fairly easily. But again, as you keep practicing, you're bound to get better and better and better. And so here we go, nine times six, that's gonna be 54. Nine times six, 54, carry the five is 59. Two times six is 12, carry the five is 17. One times six is six, carry the one is seven. Then notice over here, notice that this is the exact same as earlier. And then all we're doing now is we're gonna go ahead and literally include a zero for this next one. For this next line, we're gonna include one zero, but notice that zero times anything is still gonna be zero. So all of these are gonna be zero. And then when you take care of your third number here, the one, you have to put two zeros now, and let's get to work. Nine times one, nine times one, two times one, one times one. Boom, add it all together, and you're gonna be set. Four, nine, 16, 17, three and one. And we have a total of one, two, three, four decimals, one, two, three, four, and we have $13. And notice it's 76, but there's a nine here, so that'll round up. 1377, and we still get the correct answer. So I know I went a little fast with the calculations, but the setup is really what matters here. We've done so many videos on showing you how to calculate and calculate quickly. I really wanna focus on the setup and the reasoning before anything else. But at the end of the day, my party people, look, when you're doing taxes and discounts, again, do you believe that just starting with the percent and then adding or subtracting it at the end works better for you? Or do you believe that finding the final percentage first works best because it's only one step with calculations? Think about it. One step versus two steps, which do you prefer? So at the end of the day, everybody, I want you to go ahead and keep practicing. Up next, what you'll see is gonna be the worksheet for you. Go ahead and go with that worksheet. Go into the speed drills. Test your might here because I know you can do it. All right? I'm Coach Anderson. Always love helping you out. I'll see you in the next video, and let's keep raising that score. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.